this video will talk about the tool that I use the very most when I am developing websites. Now there is a feature in the later versions of Dreamweaver that allows you to do something similar to what I'm about to show you but I like seeing it rendered in the browser. Dreamweaver does a good job of showing how things might look in the browser but not I, the last I saw not a phenomenal job so I like actually seeing things in the browser and then using this tool in conjunction with the browser. So I'm seeing the site actually rendered and then I'm looking at the information as it's being rendered on the page. And that tool is called Firebug. So I'm going to type in Firebug. And here's Firebug. And install Firebug. And then right here you would click download it will um, update itself on its own if you allow it to. So um, over here, so what Firebug does, let me go back to CSS Zen Garden. What Firebug does is if you, once it's installed, you should see a little bug that shows up up here or down here. And um, when you click it, um, you'll start to see this kind of thing, which is your code. And if I click this little inspect icon, and you should be on HTML. Um, you can do much more with Firebug than what I'm showing you, but this is what I do the majority of the time with it. I click this little inspect icon, and then I can start to roll over parts of the site. And when I click on one, I just clicked, and now it's like, okay, I just took you there, and if I put my mouse over it, I see, yep, that's that's what I wanted. Over on this side, I see style, which is the same as CSS, um, and um, it's telling me this style is controlling that particular H1, uh, that particular header, and again, we are going to go through all these different tags and what's happening on here, so don't worry too much about it except to know that we want this tool, we want to set this up before we really get started. Uh, so um, this by having it selected with the inspector um, and clicking on it, I can see over here that this is controlled in 001.css and it tells me the location of that style sheet on my site. And um, it tells me that this is the style, the actual rule in that style sheet. Um, that the command, if you will, that's controlling this little area of the site. And I can see that I have a background image. And if I want to know what the background image looks like, I put my mouse over it and I can see the size and what it is. And I can see specs for it, no repeat and uh, left and top and things like that. I can see that it has a display of block. And this stuff will not mean anything to you right now because we haven't talked about any of it. And I don't assume that you know what I'm talking about either. I will be going through all of this as the semester continues. Float left. Now, if I want, if I want to know, well, what does it do if I remove that? Well, I can, I can click this, and I see, oh, when I remove float left from here, it affects this stuff. Huh? Interesting. And there's a reason for all that, which you know you'll learn more about later. The height of it. Does the height matter? Oh, the height matters margin top, what happens, oh, it gets bumped down if I remove the 10 pixels of top margin, the width, oh, yep, that matters too. So I can see everything that's affecting it. Now, if I start to get into some of these, and I don't know if I'll find any in this example, um, we might see, let's see, let's try, I'm just, I'm just hitting little plus signs in here, because, uh, okay, so if something has a plus sign, that means there's something inside of it. And then, you know, then it would be like this. Now we have all these elements inside of this one div. So I'm going to click the plus sign here. And now I am at an H3. And here's the very most uh, layered thing in here. And it's uh, got a span around it. And I'll talk about what all that means later on. But then here's the text. So I'm looking to see uh, if there's any styles that might affect this H3 or that inherit from it. Sometimes, well, a lot of times, when you click on something, like a paragraph, you'll see a bunch of style. Well, like here, you see we've got the paragraph and then we've got body. So paragraph is what's affecting this P, is what's affecting this 
paragraph tag over here. There's no top margin and the text is set to an align of justify. Then the body, which is like the parent tag, and if I scroll up here, I see bodies way up here. It's got um, a base color, which is a font color um, of this, and I can put my mouse over to see what it is, and I can see the font sizing and the font face that's being used. So, uh, and this will make sense as we go through different rules and specs throughout the semester. So I use Firebug to dissect what's going on on other people's sites, but I really use it to dissect what's happening on my sites when I want to change something or I'm building a site, um, especially when I'm working, like if I'm working with a theme that already exists, which you won't do in the semester, but you will in um, the advanced class in 192, and that's where we start working with website with themes so there's already code there and we want to modify it we want to find out what it is we need to modify that's a perfect time to be using firebug so I use it quite a bit and one other tool I, one other thing that I didn't talk about in, in the last video with the web developer toolbar um, and you will be using this in the class is um, there should be somewhere in here, there we go, um, validate HTML and validate local HTML. So to find out if the code you've written is structured properly, um, I will have you validate. And so uh, if you have not uploaded what you're working on, if you're looking at it from your computer, because you can load whatever file you're working on, HTML file, you can just you can view it in the browser. It doesn't have to be uploaded. Um, you'll want to, so if it's not uploaded, you will want to choose validate local HTML. And you can see there's a shortcut key for that. Command Shift A or Control Shift A. Um, if it's been uploaded, such as what we're looking at here, this is a site just out there on the web, and if I want to see the information about it, then I just go to Validate HTML or Control Shift H, Command Shift H, and I will get the W3C, which is the World Wide Web Consortium, and they are the ones who come up with all of the XHTML, HTML, HTML5 standards. So it, they check, this, this is a, a program that can check your code to see if it's been properly formatted according to the standards um, that they have in place. And if it's not, then you have to go back through and start adjusting things. So that is a tool for the web developer toolbar that you will use quite a bit throughout the semester.